This is the analytical chemistry lab, as it looks like. You can tell it's a chemistry lab. We have four hoods here, two and two. That's very unusual in the lab. They don't normally have that many hoods in a lab. So that way you have more hoods you can work underneath. In this type of lab, you're getting your basics in regards to your chemistry. You can take your freshman chemistry lab in here, which you know everybody needs as a STEM major. You've got to have a chemistry. Or you can go on ahead and take your more advanced degree. Your more advanced degree is a chemical research assistant. Now, with that, we've got a couple of pieces of equipment here. We've got some more equipment on the way. This is about a $15,000 piece of equipment. It's called uh, FTIR. IR, infrared. Who can tell me about infrared? What do you know about that level of energy? Can't see it. Hmm, you can't see it. Right? Our eyes can't see it because we can only see visible. What else? What else do you know about that? It's on one end of the light spectrum. It is on one end of the light spectrum. You can see okay. at night with it? You can see at night with it if you have a particular, it is. And he said, I like the, who was that? Someone said, start with H. Heat. Heat. Heat energy, right? So infrared, that's your ovens, okay? The energy that we generate, like you're saying, seeing at night with that, you can see energy that's being given off, okay? So like our body radiates heat. That's what this looks at. This uses that low level of energy, and it doesn't heat it enough like to cook it or anything. It just shoots a particular wavelength at it that's in the IR range, and it will give a fingerprint, a characteristic response. Every single chemical will do that. Every single chemical compound. So we'll be able to look at that and identify the purity. This is used in the food industry. Before they want to put sugar in your donut that you're going to buy, whatever it may be, right? Before they do that, before they put anything together and sell that, they first check the raw materials. You can bring your raw materials here. You actually have a probe. You stick the probe into the probe. Can read it, gives a fingerprint, and it can tell you how pure it is. So that's what this is about. It's for food industry, it's used in the environmental industry, it's used in the drug industry. So what we will teach you in this laboratory in an advanced degree, you would be able to work anywhere in the world for a food industry, drug industry, environmental industry. So you have a wide range of what do you want to do. You can make your choices later on what particular area you want to work in. I worked in the I've worked in the environmental and I've worked in the pharmaceutical, okay? So now over on the other side, and this young man is over here, we would have someone sitting here just like this. He could be our young technician, okay? So this is our future technician who is now off collecting data. But what we have here is this is what's called HPLC, high pressure liquid chromatography. This unit costs about $40,000, okay? And with this unit, we'll be able to collect data and tell you about separating a compound. So let's say you get something in, it's some soil, and you want to have some soil tested, and you're looking for some pesticides in the soil, because those pesticides in the soil are going to get into your food product, okay? So you could run this analysis, you could do some chemical work on the soil, separate some kind of compounds, it'll be soluble in the solvents you're using and the liquids you're going to use then inject it into this piece of equipment. So this runs analysis on any type of liquids, and it will separate those liquids. It can tell you any type of compound that's in there, and you set that up and you run it. This type of work is done in 99.9% .9 of the chemical laboratories all over the world. Whatever field you want to work in, every single field. This is the most common type of work that's done, and most of you have heard of chromatography, or you've done some chromatography. Haven't you done any with like tie-dye, where you hit it on a sheet of paper and it starts spreading out and different colors separate. That's the simplest form of it. This is what you normally would be using, an instrument. And this instrument will do the same thing. It will separate those different components based on the um, polarities of the compound. Okay, any questions so far or are we moving on? So this laboratory isn't fully outfitted, but once we finish outfitting it, um, it's going to have at least another $100,000 worth of equipment in here. Okay, latest stuff, cutting edge things, stuff that you can learn how to use. Also, they usually are run by computers. Those of you who like computers, you'll be able to use a software program with them. We recently received a $1 million grant in conjunction with UIW, University of Incarnate Word. And over a five year period, we will be purchasing $1 million worth of new science equipment to outfit our laboratories with. Laboratories here and laboratories on the main campus. Okay?